welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do jane nails so i got this request from a person on reddit i'm gonna pop the picture right here and i'm gonna be using this green macar extension polygonal kit this is how the box looks and this is what it brings inside so guys this kit brings your four poly gels your slip solution it spilled a little so nail file top coat and base coat so like i said this brings the four colors the slip solution the file the base coat and top coat and dual forms with the instructions this is the swatches they look a little bit too bright on the image it's because of the, my lighting but it was pretty amazing so i already prepped my nails beforehand and this is how they look i did a weird not stiletto not coffin shape i don't know how to call it but this is gonna be the three colors i'm going to be using for my jade nail design so i did i used this platter to put all my poly gel in and then use this dotting tool to pick up beats of the poly gel so I'm putting blobs randomly on my nails just to like blend it. It's almost like a marble thing, but at the same time, it's not because you don't mix them together. You just put them next to each other and try to blend the corners, but not the color inside of the color. I don't know if you guys understand, but if you're watching the video, you see what I'm doing. I'm going in with the lightest green then the mint green and then the bluish green i really forgot the names but the last one is 894 the middle one is 893 and the first one is 892 so i do this i put the three blobs of poly gel and cleaning up the corners blending it all together Try not to mix the colors in because then it's going to become another color and you don't want that. You just want the effect of like a jade nail. I got this scraper tool to use to, you know, try to strain the edge. I usually dip it into the acetone or into the slip solution so the poly gel won't stick to it and it will be, it make me easier to not like, to scrape off the corners. Just clean the corners because you want to, um, you don't want to file so much at the end. It makes it easier for you. You just tap the corners, try to maintain the shapes. It's really easy for you guys. It's why I decided, you know, to show you how, guys how I do the jade nails. It's, you know, like a tutorial for beginners. And after it cured I put a little bit of base coat on the nail so the foil could stick to it because you know we're gonna be using the foils to do the edges so it won't look blob and a big blob in the middle of the nails and I'll pop up right here the image that I was inspired and if not it's gonna be on my Instagram account guys I got this request, like I said, from Reddit, from a person this, that, you know, followed me on Reddit and asked me to do a J nail design, like long hair, pretty nails did, and Femi Beauty, so I'm, you know, trying to do some greenish nail, you know, for March. Guys, I love the kit. The only bad thing is, in a few seconds or in a couple of minutes, you're going to see that I have to change the slip solution because it gets all gunked up like i don't know if the if it's the slip solution or the poly gel itself but i had to change it so many times because the slip solution got a lot of gunk on it and it was horrible i had to like put on some alcohol wipes and just wipe it down inside and then refill it so i almost used all of the slip solution in this video i used like half of the little bottle and but at the end i love how the nails ended like this is the first time me doing jade nails 
I'm not an expert, but I loved it. And everyone that I have shown my nails to, they say they loved it. And I'm ex so excited, guys. And if you see, I am doing people's requests for videos. If you have any requests for me to do, you can DM me on Instagram or comment on my Reddit page or just comment down below of a design that you want me to try because guys i love hearing your guys comments and hear you guys want things from me <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying it correctly but i love knowing that you guys will want to have me try nail designs for you guys so after i placed the foils i encapsulated the nail with some clear so that's the thing guys you just do this little design on the middle of the nail or whatever you want you can do it on top corners on the bottom or in the middle of the nail so sideways in any direction you want you just have to encapsulate at the end because you know you're gonna have this empty space between the nails and the designs and everything so you just fill it in with clear like I did right here and guys even though I haven't filed it or shaped it or anything look how pretty that looks like I didn't know what to do for the thumb because the picture that I saw that inspired me to do this didn't have any thumb in it. So I did something random, trying to, you know, trying to do something spontaneous. And yes, my alcohol just fell on the table. But I used this alcohol wipe to, you know, take the tacky layer off because I don't want anything sticking to it or my nails sticking to it. Now I'm grinding more blobs of color. That's the Ignite one no 892 and i'm putting it in a corner of my nail like a little half of a circle kind of kind of thing i just place the colors and then tap it in with my brush and that's it guys you can do whatever you want even can you can even do it with different colors if you want i just wanted to use this green nail design you know this green kit because I haven't used it and I know March is coming so a lot of people want green nails so this is one of the inspiration that you guys can use and yes I did this yesterday guys so I had before I went to work I created this design I was like three hours working on this I think even more because you know so many details go into this and by and besides my battery died a lot so I did the design before work and when I got back from work today I just started to edit it and now I'm doing the voiceover and in a few minutes I gotta go back to work so you know this is hard but I love showing you guys the nails that I, I do and showing seeing you guys support everywhere on my Instagram, TikToks, and Reddit, even Facebook. So, guys, I hope you like this video of me showing you how to do jade nails step by step for beginners. So, I know it's going a little bit faster, but if I didn't speed up the video, the video was gonna last more than an hour. And I know you guys are not gonna be here sitting watching a video of an hour. So I try to, you know, minimize it to 25 minutes, I think it is, and get you guys comment on this design. I did add some glitters because um, Long Hair Pretty Nails added some hollow glitters to hers, and I saw, I thought it looked so amazing. It brought a pop of something to the nails, not just the color. I, I think that's it why I liked so much this nail because I didn't put it all bland there I just added glitter and that glitter made it pop so much so this is me grabbing more foils and tearing it up so I can you know place it around my nail you have to add base coat so it can stick down and after I do this I added more base coats so I can you know put the glitters and the foils and what I did use the foils is you know to give it shape not just a blob of poly gel in the middle i i did it like a little plate i don't know if you guys have seen the plates for mixing that there's on 
Amazon or AliExpress. Anyway, actually, when you go buy stuff, you see this bluish, greenish, marbleish plate with the gold corners. So that's what inspired me to do this. And I got an inspo from, I think it was Pinterest and Instagram because I saw it on Instagram as well. And it was amazing. I did ask on Pinterest, oh no, I mean, on Reddit, if you guys prefer short videos, you know, from five to 15 minutes or long videos from 15, 20 to 30 minutes. And a lot of people said they like long, like long videos and more poly gel content. So I am doing a lot of poly gel videos, but I do have Savvyland acrylic stuff and builder gels and different stuff from different brands I want to try and see what I said that I had to clean my dapping dish I had to get all the gunk out if you see the little towel the thing I'm using to clean it up is green and my paper towel on the bottom is green as well so after I put the glitters and cured it, I am adding my clear poly gel, you know, to encapsulate it and build the apex because an apex is important, guys. If you don't have an apex or thickness to your nail, it can break off. But remember not to flood your cuticles because if you flood your cuticles, it can actually lift. So at the end, or since now, when you're applying your poly gel, try to make it flush and clean around it. And when you're filing it, just try to clean up and tighten that cuticle area so it won't get lifted. And by, you know, being extra careful with your nails, like taking your time, cleaning it, shaping it, like with poly gel, it will be easier at the end when you're gonna file it because you don't have to file a lot. That's why I took so long on this nail set because I took my time to be careful with the polygers and maintain the shape because I used to not do that and it was so hard to maintain the shape on my nails or recreate the shape because I used to use a lot of polygers and not care about the shape because I thought, hey, once I put the poly gel in, my shapes will stay there. But no, you gotta maintain it. You gotta clean the corners as well when you're using acrylic. It's the same thing. Just, I prefer poly gel because it's easier. It doesn't dry as quick. And it, you can do whatever you want before you cure it. So, now I am putting a blob of poly gel on my nail. But when i did this i didn't realize that i put it on the wrong side so after i placed all the poly gel i went back in with the brush of the poly gel to push it all to one side and then create this illusion that it was when you connect your index and middle finger together it, it will look like a circle or something like that so i took care of that push it to one side clean the corners and if you can see from here you can see that the dapping dish is green but that's what I'm saying that it gunks up completely like all the surroundings and inside and when you spill the slip solution and see the bottom you see like gunks like if you um if you did an acetone soak or something like that and I don't know what's going on with that but I don't know if it's my poly gel kit or the way I'm using it but I don't know that was weird never happened to me before so now I am putting the base coat so I can put the foils. I placed the foils a little bit backwards and so I decided to go with the glitters and put it in this way like a wind kind of thing situation. I don't know but I think you guys are going to like it at the end when you see how I did this J nail step by step for beginners for you guys. And I love it. I did try to do my best putting on the foils but i have to get the smashed ones the really 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 small ones because this pieces of foils is so hard to you know break down and stuff and sometimes they fly away if there's air or something or stick to your nails 
or sometimes when you're trying to place it one in one nail it will glue on to the other and since you have base coat on your nails it's going to stick down it's so hard to take off but be careful clean around your cuticles to prevent flooding and just enjoy yourself you don't have to do a set fast or anything you just have to do it the way you like and if it didn't come out the first time you can retry it and it will come out eventually so I decided to go with the 894 first and then the 892 in the middle and try to do like a it's kind of a, like a French tip but at the same time it's not because I didn't you know focus on the smile line a lot I just wanted to have a little peek on the tip so it looked like a little rock or something and then between that I added the other green color and yes the plate is so nasty but it was so hard to pick up the beads and take them off of the picker tool because huh, it will stick so hard on it but at the end everything is worth doing because guys if you would have told me yesterday or the day before have you done day nails i will answer no because they were hard to do or they look hard to do because you know you see all those colors mixed in and you're like how do people do that but if you take your time see videos or study the image correctly you're gonna see that it's not as hard as you think maybe it will take time to do it but it's not hard to recreate and if you have that mindset that you want to create something you will do it it's sometimes harder if you like like me that works night shifts it's like your days get shorter because you, after you come out at 6 a.m from work you have to you know sleep and when you wake up it's almost three o'clock at, at the afternoon and you're like where did a date go what am i gonna do now so be careful not to get air bubbles because i had so many air bubbles and some of the nails because of all the twirling so i recommend not to twirl a lot the poly gel just pick it up and place it down because of all the movement of the poly gel it will create the air bubbles on it and it's gonna be so hard to take off i've tried so many things on other nails to take off the air bubbles so i am trying to be so careful to do this after i see that i have the design that i want i swirl it a little bit because i saw that you can see you know the dark green the light green the dark green and i didn't want it to seem like that so i'll try to like mix the ends together and it did it something nice like look at that you can't even notice that they're in a straight line going down i did want to use a different kind of green like a darker green but this kit didn't bring it so i'm gonna try it with other stuff and i'll let you guys know but this glitter is usually not a green glitter this is like a pink holographic glitter and after i placed them in the nail it took the nails color but in real life in a way if you look at it in some from one way it will see pink and if you look at it from another side it will look green but at the end the result came out amazing and the shape like I am patting myself on the shoulder because I loved it. I'm still loving it and I'm still looking at my nails like I did last time. And I'm so in shock that I created this design. I didn't think about it because someone referred it to me and I had to, you know, look it up and see inspirations. But at the end, I created a design between so many ideas and in the end, I loved it. And you can see from here, I don't have to file a lot because you can see that the nails are already shaped correctly you maybe you know try to thin it down or straight off the edges but you can see from here it's has already that triangle shape and it, i loved it if you remember guys to cure it completely all the nails because you don't want the gunky ucky nails to, you know to stick, stick to everything but I did get a new setup and I am 
getting better at the camera angles and stuff because I used to have a different setup and I couldn't reach the camera or the camera was placed too far or something but in this one the camera is placed correctly I sometimes yes like I, in this clip I pull my hand back but it's because I want to see that my cuticles are clean and stuff so if you see it's already shaped you only have to like go back at it and try to get all those bumps out but I didn't have to do a lot because I loved it only situation I had to fix my pinky a little bit because the poly gels went to one side when I was curing it so I had to fix that but guys you can see that the nails were already pre-shaped only you know, I only had to like go back at it file it a little bit the tips and then buff it so that's what I'm doing right now and I don't know if it's just me but do you guys do gangster signs when you're you know filing your nails because I can't find a way to file my nails without doing some weird hand gestures so after my file my 100 100 grit file I went with my e-file the 180 grit e-file from I don't know where it was but I bought it from Amazon and I went in with my Metal Susie nail drill guys a video is coming of me reviewing this kit this poly um this oh my god guys I can't talk this nail drill so this is me going back into my nails and buffing it getting all the scratches out and guys when I went to wipe my nails off to clean it to get all the dusty gusty out oh my god guys I loved it even without the top coat it looked amazing like look at that look at oh my god look at that shine look at that detail from all of my nails I love this one I didn't know I was gonna love a green nail set because I'm not really a green fan but look at that shine at that detail yes my thumb didn't come out correctly but I still like it the design and everything and if you're doing a clear nail like this that you have some parts clear and it's not you know on your nail bed you should flip your nail upside down and clean under it and put on some top coat so it will look extra clear so I was debating if to do it matte or just do it glossy but I went with glossy and guys I don't regret it it's amazing I did cure it for 30 seconds each nail and was careful like I said don't flood your cuticles with base coat or with poly gel or even top coat and after you cure the nails and put on the top coat you should put some cuticle oils because you want to hydrate your crusty cuticles because it's been so much time under the lamp and you don't want your nails to you know be crusty dehydrated sometimes people use you know um 100 percent or i think sps 50 or something like that so they won't get you know tan under the light because sometimes you have darker hands because you spend so many times under that fake you have led light and you don't want that you can damage your skin so after that you just put on some cuticle oils i'm using the model one's cuticle oil and it smells good i got a macart one as well i'm gonna try it in the next video but with that being said this is how to do j nail step by step for beginners and after this i'm going to be showing you my end nail result and i hope you guys like it and with that being said, this is pretty much it for this video. If this video helps you in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and it helps my video get out there. So, if you get anything, any value out of my content, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. So, this is pretty much it for how to do jade nails step-by-step -step for beginners. I hope you guys like it, and i see you guys on the next video. This ain't cool.